contact a little bit. Right. Okay, we had we had a camp at Atlanta on that Monday, Tuesday. Uh, campers that were there, appreciate you guys. Had uh, 24. Yeah, we had a big camp. Great yeah. time. God, it was, it was hotter in hell on that Monday, <laughs> Tuesday. And I was walking around. Like a man on crutches, I was so freaking sore. And we, and we, and, yeah, and we had, I haven't we, seen you that tight. We had stadium <laughs> court, so it was kind of a pain in the ass. So we had state, we had three courts on stadium court, and then all the courts were spread out. So for some reason, uh, with this uh, particular camp, the courts were spread out. So with that being said, there was a lot more roaming, and uh, as most coaches know. And like we've talked about, like it's so much easier to roam, especially in that teacher-student yeah. setting when all the teachers are doing the right thing and you can walk down a line of courts and they're all uh, acting as a teacher, doing the same stuff. And then you, you can walk on the student side. The students have a very specific topic that they're working on. Anyhow, you can differentiate if the court's lined up um, by either walking or coaching by the teachers or walking and coaching by the students. In this case, uh, there was none of that because the courts were so spread out. So I'm sore as hell. I'm going up and down those stinking stairs. And uh, <laughs> God, it was hot. Jeez. Run those stairs, Tyson. Jeez. Get moving. And I, I'm just getting flashbacks to like sucking pond water <laughs> on, sta- on center court playing Ben the prior day. And um, uh, anyhow, I mean, beautiful club. Had a great time. 24 campers. Rocked, rocked and rolled over two days. Um, used Adam Stone the first day. Yep. yep. Uh, also use Kyle here and John Sperling and uh, the boys went to work. That was a fun group. That was a fun was group a fun of group. instructors. And it's funny, you know, I think we've talked about this is, you know, a little coach's, coach's tip is, you know, there's the tactical and the court positioning and technique and all that. But like on a hot day, like it's your responsibility as a teacher to bring that energy, bring that positive energy. Me too. And towards Me too. the end of the day, Talk about that. It, you know, Adam and I were down on stadium, which we, you know, the idea of playing on stadium was great, you know, in theory, but we're making the <laughs> campers go up and down these stairs a couple times much. on day two. We just kept everybody up top, but I know Adam and I, you know, and for those who know Adam, he's a super charismatic guy, oh, yeah. good sense of humor, but we were, we were fighting our best to bring that energy because everybody was just kind of seeing stars a little bit with the, with the heat and the humidity, but but uh, yeah. great camp overall, and uh, yeah. I think everybody uh, everybody had a good good time. Yeah, I think uh, if it's that hot too, uh, during those group discussions or during the skills portion, obviously have your campers sit in the shade. Yeah. Yeah. And I would spend more time during the skills portion. Um, but once you send them out, if they're suffering, uh, they obviously need a little added energy. So just like what Kyle mentioned. Yeah, if it's that hot and that humid, uh, as a coach, spend more time during the skills portion. Obviously, more more water breaks. Mm-hmm. Always have the students bring their water to their courts. Anytime they're bumping up, mopping down, bring their towel, bring their water. Extra bathroom breaks. And bring the freaking energy <laughs> as a coach. If they're suffering, they need a little pick-me-up. Yeah, heck yeah. And, uh, you know, so I think... Um, uh, and and it's, it's, it's tough to be sharp as a coach when it's, when it's that hot, too. Uh, so I think just as the students are taking water breaks and bathroom breaks and stuff like that, the coach, same thing. I mean, anytime you have a little time, get some water. Uh, when you're when you're coaching, if you can stand in shade just to kind of help a little bit, I I try to do that. Um, um, but you know, I do that on a uh, minimal basis um, with shade and water because obviously we're there for the campers. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's always always kind of tricky uh, when it's that hot. But uh, I think, yeah, first and foremost, bring the energy, have some fun with them. Um, and, uh, and, and, and it's kind of funny, too. Coaching when it's that hot, it's suffering. But you've got to think about, like, you know, our, our camp format, it's six hours a day. Yeah. Like, if I'm suffering, they are suffering. I've but got a to, lot more, too. I've got to I wake mean, my they're, they're, they're moving for, around. For, for, right, for you know sure. I mean? Some for of sure. our campers are, you know, over 50. Oh, yeah, of right? course. So, like, course. It's, it's, you know, when we're trying to have good form on everything that we're doing, it's a lot more physically demanding yeah. as well. So, yeah. if we're ever feeling it, they're feeling it at least twice as much. And it's kind of your responsibility as the coach Pick to kind up. of set that standard for, for that energy level, and they'll feed off of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we ended up coming back to Coeur d'Alene right after. Um, or actually, Kyle obviously went back to uh, his home in Spokane. I came to Coeur d'Alene. And then Mr. McKenzie here went to Hoover, Alabama. Yeah, heck Hoover. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was uh, so I'll, I'll admit, you know, when you do do a lot of these camps, you just kind of find out. All right, I'm going to be at this center, or that center, and you know, I'm researching it the day before. Like, all right, where am I? Oh yeah. Uh, but I showed up, and it was kind of blew me away. The Findlay Center there in Hoover, um, big old, almost like a stadium <laughs> environment. So indoor gym floor, not the best for playing, but for coaching. And uh, I actually really don't mind it. You know, if we're gonna 
uh, challenge, you know, some of the, the 3035 players with some tougher shots like blocks and resets and whatnot. It's it's nice to be able to use a softer ball to help them see some success right. a little bit earlier. But it was a cool uh, it was a cool atmosphere. Absolutely. Yeah. Um